Jason with Nerdette's Newsstand, and I have been making um, videos on YouTube for about a year and a half. I have made a lot when it comes to social commentary or these so-called hot takes that we're going to be looking at here. I have come across a lot of ignorance and stupidity, and I think this one tops every single video I have ever made. I'm not even kidding. And every single hot take I've ever read. My God. Anita Sarkeesian could not be more ignorant if she tried. So what I want to talk about here is her um, Twitter post. But if you don't know who Anita Sarkeesian is, um, which is unlikely if you're at my channel, but she kind of made the four way for, um, paved the four way for, um, Gamergate and some of the other ridiculous. She does feminist frequency, does videos about the tropes of women in games. Mind you, they are not women. They are characters within a video game. But even so, I won't get into that too much. Um, she uh, definitely loves The Mandalorian. You know, she loved all the women representation within it. Oh yeah, she forgot that there was actually a woman in there. She totally didn't realize it when she tweeted that out and then, you know, said that basically <laughs> that the Mandalorian um, perpetrated the patriarchy. Right, Jon Favreau did the best job when it comes to that show and how Star Wars has been in general, but sure, my patriarchy is bad. Not only that, but she um, attacked Ninja with Tyler Blevins, who is one of the most well-known Twitch streamers, who basically said he would not stream with other females simply because he is married. He doesn't want to get into that drama that some girls can cause, um, like Amber Heard. And basically, he um, he's only going to stream with his friends or by himself. I, I think that's fantastic. Honestly, when he came out and said this, this has been a long time ago, um... He, uh, I had a lot of respect for him because it just shows the amount of respect that he actually shows for his wife. And I think that was fantastic. She also went on to say, uh, when it comes to the Ant-Man and the Wasp, Marvel, of course they can't do anything, right? Because of course not. Uh, basically it was the entire plot was a damsel in distress situation, right? Okay, well, I actually just talked about these tropes within comics not that long ago. And how women... Mm, normal women, let me reiterate that, like that sort of trope. Simply because um, men have their power fantasies and women have their protection fantasies. Women like being protected. Women like that mm, strongness within men. So I actually see uh, zero problem with that whatsoever. But if you've seen the Ant-Man and the Wasp, you might think she's crazy anyways. So... Let's take a look at the worst of the worst. And I am over here at Bounding Into Comics. Um, they do a good job of putting these hot takes together. I don't use Twitter. I don't use Instagram. The only thing I use is uh, Minds. And I also use BitChute and YouTube. Simply because I was on there. It, it, it's, it's an anxiety-ridden mess. It is cancer in the form of social media. I think our um, society would be a lot better off had more people actually stepped away from their keyboards and gotten off of these type of websites. They radicalize people in a way because they want the newest, freshest take when it comes to, um, you know, virtue signaling. So they go further and further and further and then their followers start to believe the crazy, the crazy, the crazy. Ah, speaking of crazy, we have Ernita Sarkeesian over here. We all know what is going on with the world. Um, the big bad bug has basically slowed the economy as a whole. It has slowed every single person and affected almost everybody in some way. So that's what we're going to talk about here. Her take for what we should do when it comes to corona. Now, she says, why hasn't America frozen rent and mortgages? Now, you can't do that. The economy will fail. If people don't pay their rent, their landlords can't pay the mortgages. If mortgages are not paid, banks go under. We had bank the situation, what, 2007 or 8, um, where we absolutely went into a recession because of problems within the banking industry. I actually worked at 
um, a mortgage company in 2005, and it was doing so well. I was making bank when it came to commissions, selling mortgages left and right, refinancing, and then the crisis hit. And the complete business, I got out of, t I got out of there before they went out of business, but it only took about six months of that economy before it was gone. There was no more mortgage company. So um, now, why hasn't America nationalized its healthcare services? Uh, she is, if I remember correctly, she's a democratic socialist. There's so many problems. I could just make a whole video about that. You can't nationalize health services. For one, it takes away thousands of jobs. It costs trillions of dollars. And they don't put, like right now, we have um, elective surgeries that are on hold. But if this wasn't going on, um, those elective surgeries would be normal. It would go through your personal insurance. When you have a national health service like this, like she wants, it would put those elective surgeries sometimes years back. Um, so the, uh, the abortions that she is so fond of would not happen, honey. They would be pushed back and back and back. We have to let the free market decide prices in order to actually survive. That's why capitalism has done so well compared to socialism and stuff that you absolutely adore. So let's talk about hmm, <laughs> the best part of this. Why hasn't America released everyone? I want to repeat that word. Everyone in prison. Are you fucking kidding me? Are, are you joking? Is this satire? I know it's not because she's a moron, but um, she did say, why haven't they released, you know, misdemeanor, stuff like that, people in jail like that. She said prison, and she said everyone. So she um now went from 2015 Anita saying that we lived in a patriarchal society full of rape, and now she wants to let Harvey Weinstein go! Our you kidding me? <laughs> like, I never thought I'd see the day. What about Bill Cosby? You want you want him out? Do you want him to give you some pudding, honey? You want Bill Cosby's pudding, don't you? Oh, my God! Oh, what about Larry Nassar? He went through, what was it, two years ago? Maybe it wasn't even that long ago. And molested dozens of young, young girls that were, um, you know, wanting to be in the Olympics. He took advantage of them completely. Let's let that man walk free. Yeah, totally makes sense. What about what about the what was it, Dark Knight Killer? He killed twelve people and injured like seventy. Um, James Holmes. What about him? You want him to be able to be back on the streets and cause more mass murders like this? Is that what you want? I thought you were all about like gun control and stuff, but sure, why not? Let all them out. It doesn't make any sense. We are all stuck in our homes for the most part. And she wants to let all these dangerous people go because prisons are bad. She's literally advocating on these tweets for how bad Rikers is. Yep. She's not talking about anything else. She needs to be talking about health care. Does she not realize she's advocating for the prisoners but hasn't said a word about how bad healthcare is right now, how doctors and nurses are short on personal protective equipment, how we are not having the ventilators we need or the medications available. But sure, prisoners, whatever. Oh my God. Um, what about this? Why hasn't America issued a shelter in place for the whole nation? Well, that's because they can't. We have states for a reason. We have checks and balances for a reason you cannot go with this authoritarian tactic and expect it to work again socialist so it's pretty easy to see why you know she would probably be better off in china i think she would really really like it there i absolutely do oh my god now is a good time to read up on the alternatives to capitalism <laughs> yeah they work so well they work so well why don't you actually do your research and see how well they have worked in the past. Look up socialism. Hmm. My God. This person is a moron. I've never seen something this bad. Anyways, let me know what you guys think or if you think I'm crazy and that every prisoner should be 
released, including Harvey Weinstein himself. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my subscribe star and Patreons. You guys literally make this channel possible. Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris C, Dave Ross, David L, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Sanjuro, Jeremy Burtz, Joe Pussify, Kato Round, Magical Exotic Diamonds, Mighty Pauls, Mike Buckner, Robert, Steve Glasker, Timothy French, Alice Matt Films, Alexander Trapp, Way Else One, and Troy Riser. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe and like on the way out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.